Hi guys, I'm Mike. And I'm Stephen. And this is F1 Fanatics. Welcome back to the channel and to another episode of the F1 Podcast. The podcast where you can not see car reveals live. Excellent. But you can see our reaction to them. Also not live. Not live. No. This is re recorded. Yeah, no, that is true. That This is Tuesday and yes. this comes out Wednesday. Wednesday. Yes, this is a uh, live. It is the place where you can't get our live race reaction. Let's, let's just move past the whole live thing. Do we do anything live? No. Well, we did say yesterday live, yeah. but this isn't live. This isn't the live. No, this is just the F1 podcast. Okay. Yeah. Should I just say we talk about F1? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it's it. the F1 podcast. We talk about F1. Did I do it? Okay. I think you did that. I should think they That was good. Yeah. No, no. They can't hear us. Okay. We're so far away from them. Absolutely. And yeah. we're using our quiet voices. Yeah, no, definitely. They have no idea what we're saying. Absolutely right no idea. They're idiots. All of, them. All of them, especially John T. Let's, let's go back to them now. Wait, I hope, I, hi guys, here's the F1 podcast and we're here to talk about F1. We're going to be talking about the car reveals with Mercedes, Nuka. We're going to be talking about Alpine, Nuka. And we're also going to be answering another fantastic John T's question. Now, but first, first, there's a little bit of news. Little bit of news. Little bit of news. Tiny little bit of news. Let's do some Rovers. A news searching. roundup. There's not much news these days, but you've got to look for it. I've been searching. Williams have retained Jamie Chadwick as their test driver, with official development driver for the 2021 season. Nice. Well, it's good to have uh, female representation. I am going to be interested to see how uh, Jamie gets on in the W Series this year. Yep. Big for her to retain that. Um, to build super license points and going forward into further categories. Hopefully, she can progress yep. up the ladder. Definitely. But uh, yeah, that's the little bit of news. Of then of news. teams posturing, going, "Oh, we're going to be great." Ferrari said, "We're going to be quicker," but we're still being a bit realistic. We're pretty terrible. Okay. Nice, so, yeah, good. And they had their team launch, yes, rather than the car launch. So we now see know. some people still got confused that they didn't see the cars. Like, in fairness, one thing we should credit Ferrari with: they were very open about this. Yeah. When you have a team launch and a car launch, assume that the car is not going to be launched on the team launch. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but we now know their driver lineup for this year. Carlos yeah. Sainz and Charles Leclerc. Shocking. Didn't see that one coming. Did not see that one. And they were in red ovals. Oh, Incredible. Red overalls. I didn't see I didn't see oh, it. Coming. I did not see Incredible. It Best team launch of the year. Wow. Because no one else has done one. Until Alpine showed up. Well, no one else has done a team launch. That's true. They're all playing around with their car launches. Yeah, that's true. This is a team launch, so that that's cool. Yep. yep. <laughs> that's all that's all Ferrari. Uh, but I think we covered all the other ones up until this point. So it's on to Mercedes. And uh, Mercedes have revealed the Marmite car. The love it or hate it. I'm stealing that. I saw Ivy say that on uh, Twitter. And so I'm going to steal that from Ivy. Bam. There Stolen. That's what the F1 podcast does. When we talk to the community, we like to steal their ideas and pass it off as our own. <laughs> no, are we... Yeah, you're gonna have to cut the bit. Yeah, you're gonna have to cut it out. Oh, this podcast—it's all, <laughs> it's already crazy. Uh, Mercedes car. What do you think? That's what I was thinking. I, that was my mind, active mind process. I wouldn't. Say, I'm. I'm not the marmite. I kind of. I. I. You know. I like it. But I don't like uh, on closer inspection the back of the car. Where it's just AM, AMG, 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 AMG. And then you've got the number. But it just clashes. How incredible as a marketing tool is it? Because what, what's everyone talking everyone's about? Talking AMG. About AMG. Everyone's talking it's about incredible. AMG. Yeah. But actually, I, I I don't hate it. You know? 
I don't... Obviously, they couldn't get rid of the back livery because what it means for Mercedes and the direction they want to take with diversity. Uh, but obviously, they're always the silver arrows. They tried to incorporate that. I don't think they've done a terrible job. I felt I needed more silver. Maybe even like a silver trim on the car would be nice. Yep. With the Patronus uh, flick as well. Um, I, In fairness, I feel like they have to go black or silver. And what they're trying to make as a statement as a team, another all black car probably would have worked well for me. Yeah. For this season, although it does feel weird not having a silver car as Mercedes just traditionally are silver. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Other news, valtteri has got more hair. Yes. And he's... Um, Faltry you know, 3.0 with more hair. He's, Is this the news formula? <laughs> he comes out fighting, so I guess we'll see whether he is... It's a new um, look. Close behind Lewis or a long way behind Lewis. Here we go. <laughs> Less hair or more hair? We will find out this year what the path to success is. Not Valtteri Bottas. Uh, I would love <laughs> Valtteri Bottas to show up and win the World Championship and everyone goes, wow, we were so wrong about Valtteri Bottas. But unfortunately, we do have some previous seasons of evidence that suggests that maybe that wouldn't be the case. Just not good enough. Yeah. But on to Alpine. <laughs> on to Alpine. Oh, no, messing around. Uh, Alonso's F1 return car. I think it's looking great. This livery is the favourite livery on the grid so far, despite still having my most hated logo on the grid so far. The blue is very nice. The metallic blue, the alpine blue, is brilliant. I just, I don't, I, I do get it because they want to put the French flag on it. Yeah. But they actually have a really great logo. The Alpine logo is a great logo. But they've tried to do this A thing, but because they needed the white line going up the car there, they needed a gradient from the white to the red because they could, otherwise it would have been just one block white line and you would have lost the kind of weird tick there. I think they should have scrapped that. That, that looks awful. But I get what they're trying to do is block it. I always describe it as um, the failed 80s airline logo. <laughs> it just looks dated. You know what I mean? If it, You're going for a fresh rebrand. You're, you're taking Renault Alpine into the future, you know, and that's what you come up with. I just think it's underwhelming. But the rest of the car is brilliant. If you wear an eye patch, then you won't have, on your right eye, you won't be have to look at the logo. True. You'll only ever see the front of the Sensational car. Sensational car. That's how eye patches work. <laughs> wow. That's incredible. I can only see the front half of your face. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. As soon, as soon as they start going that way, I'm in trouble. I'm in big trouble. I'm in big trouble. I'm going to have to quickly switch the eye patch. Otherwise, I am going to be raging. <laughs> Raging so hard. Oh, God. Yes. This is what you tune in to the F1 podcast. It looks for. great. It looked great. There we go. Well, that's really uh, that... the only news we have this week is the two car launches. And um, that's that. Aston Martin launched their merch. It's not really news. It's the news that it's extortionately overpriced. Yep. But uh, we see their car. You know, look, uh, what, we have to give credit here, you know. Right, because Aston Martin before Lawrence Stroll came in, big trouble financially, weren't yep. they? Big, big trouble. Lawrence has come in to do that. He's got to make some of his money back. Yeah, yeah. You know, so he's got to charge three hundred and five pounds for a jacket. Yeah, sounds reasonable. Now you put it like that. No, absolutely. I, I am all for contributing to I the need Lawrence to give Stroll, Stroll more money retirement because he's only a billionaire. Give Stroll money. Give Stroll money. Give Stroll money. That's... Wow, that's going to go viral. Uh, <laughs> no, won't. 
Uh, that, that will require people watching the video. Oh, uh, whoa, it's a little bit of a bunch. Right, okay. <laughs> because if they got to this bit, they've done well. They've done very well. They've done very well. John T's question was, which driver was it unpopular to like that you never admitted to liking, uh, whether it because they were unpopular or slash not cool to like? Not cool. <laughs> Did you a lick? Stephen, I hand over to you first. Well, I, this is a difficult one for it me. It is a difficult because I've usually um, been op- we're usually very open about who we like. Yeah, <laughs> and who we don't like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so I think I'm going to have to go for Sebastian Vettel in his dominant Red Bull days. Yeah, uh, and it was very hard for him to admit because of how hardcore a Fernando Alonso fan I was. So he couldn't admit that. <laughs> I was scared for my life. He had to. If I'm... I came out as a Sebastian Vettel. We were younger then. <laughs> we were growing up. I would have punched him. I could have got hurt. I, I, I have no quarrels. I would have hurt him. I could have actually seriously had to wear an eye patch. I'm even still tempted to hurt him to this day. <laughs> but, you know, I've grown up. I've let bygones be bygones. But back then, probably would have hurt him. I'd stay in hiding. Had to. So yeah. he couldn't admit to it. You know, every time Sebastian's like, ah, number one. Yeah. Awesome. To confirm, actually, just before this, uh, you know, is backdated at some point in the future as people going back to me abusing my brother. <laughs> um, I, I didn't just hurt him. It, it was going with the story. Like, uh, is this one of those things where it goes around regularly on Twitter? Uh, what would you say? If um, uh, to know people in trouble, I don't like Max Verstappen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Stephen, what's wrong with him? Get him out of there now! Uh, mine is Nico Rosberg. There we go. I've always quite liked him. Uh, I think he's talented, especially in his Mercedes days. I thought he was quite good. I like the dynamic between him and Lewis. I enjoyed that rivalry partnership for him, but I feel, especially here UK wise. Uh, with the heavy, obviously in favour of Lewis, obviously Lewis, amazing driver, and uh, fans of him also. But yeah, I I had a soft spot for Nico Rosberg, and I I didn't think it was necessarily the most popular opinion to have. Were you cheering him on for the twenty sixteen title? Within, within myself. I I don't think I was cheering on. I, I think I'd uh, already at that stage got to the point of, because Fernando wasn't competing for championships, I don't care who wins, just as long as the fight's good. And <laughs> 2016 was a great fight. It has to be said. There we go. Great fight between the two. Best fight we had since the Red Bull Ferrari days. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, since 2012. There we go. 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 I mean, wow, we, we rapidoed through that question. I thought it was going to be maybe more, but... We didn't really. Let us know what drivers you liked. I saw Sam was Sorokin. Yep. The Russian that never really got a decent shot in F1 uh, because he was driving the Williams. Yep. Uh, Shocking. uh, Did you see any others? Uh, Well... John T was going back because he's 600 years yes, old. Yes, John T. Ch- to yes. Martin Brundle. Yeah. So, uh, you know, that, that was fair. Because uh, I, I think that's it. A lot of people will go, oh, why wouldn't it be cool to support Martin Brundle? But that's Martin Brundle now. Yeah. Obviously, the brand he's built, the commentating he's done, he's just been such an ever present of F1. And actually, probably the main part of his success has come off the racetrack rather than on it. Although yeah. he was still a successful driver on track as well there we go there we go that's it that's our thoughts for today uh alpine thumbs up i'm not going to mention a logo we're going mercedes flatlined where's its pulse (laughs) but i did see something actually on uh twitter i think it might be an elliot f1 um who was going People were. My, I think a lot of people have said this actually. To be fair, but I think this is. I saw it from Elliot going. People moan about 
going like the Red Bull livery. Oh, it's just the same every year type of thing. And Mercedes try and do something different. And then people moan about that. Yeah. I, I, look, I, I, think, I appreciate what they're trying to do. They're trying to incorporate the silver and the black. And I like what they stand for. And I, I think the people, a lot of people will appreciate it. And it makes the red Nicky uh, Mercedes logo stand out more. Yeah. Which, you know, is is nice as well. Um, it, it just, yeah, it, it doesn't quite do it for me. But it does at least look more modern than the Alpine logo. Damn, I got another <laughs> one in there. Oh, I got another one in there. Come on, let's go. We're on the roll. Let's go. Yeah. Woo! We're getting closer. Is it Woo! testing next week or Woo! testing two weeks? I don't know. Uh, it's We're getting closer to actual cars on track, which is 12th, what we've been waiting for. 12th and 14th. What we've been trying to fill between the end of last season testing to see where cars come out. And then we got a race. We've actually got a race this month. It's, it's race month, month, everyone. Yes. Soon, we won't have to talk about, debate, what a livery is good and bad. We can Soon actually say... we will go, Ferrari is still slow. I've got high, no. hopes. I've got high hopes for them. I, 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 think, I think Ferrari will bounce back. I'm going to be like a Ferrari fan this year. Yeah? Yeah. Stephen, sent help. Signed in it now. Sent help. Oh, God. <laughs> sent help. Oh, no. Oh, God. Please. Screw Red Bull. <laughs> oh, it's really bad. It's really bad. They messed, messed around with my Max. Oh, now that's kind of not bad because it's anti I love Bull. Charles Leclerc. <laughs> God, it's it's worse than I ever could have imagined. Ah. And on that note, uh, if you've enjoyed this podcast, let us know in the comments below. Give us uh, do uh, Stephen. They'll tell you what to do in a second. Uh, but yeah, let us know what everything we've discussed in the comments down below. Your thoughts, please. And if you're new around, you can like, subscribe, and ding that bell. Do that, ding it. <laughs> Um, so for now, UF1 fans, keep racing.